2. Read. A. Look at the headlines of the two news articles. This is news article number 1 and this is news article number 2. Where is the headline? Here it is. Massive quake hits Haiti. Look, before we proceed with today's reading, if you read this text, you will find a lot of vocabulary words that are covered in in the vocabulary video. This is why I want you to please watch 4DA vocabulary before you continue with this video. A lot of the vocabulary words in here are in that video. Okay, this is the headline, Massive Quake Hits Haiti. And this is the headline of the first news article, Killer Wave. These two are news articles. Guess what natural disaster took place? If we read the headline, Killer Wave, there is a disaster that happened in this news article. What do you think the disaster is? Disaster is something really bad that can kill people. Okay, just don't read the text, just read the title. Killer Wave, Killer Wave. What do you think the disaster is? Wave. If you watch the vocabulary video, one vocabulary, you will know the meaning of wave. So, killer wave, so maybe a wave came and killed people. Do you know what we call these huge waves? We call them tsunami. Okay, how about this news article? Massive quake. What is quake? Quake is an earthquake. When the ground starts shaking, hits Haiti. Haiti is a, is a country, just like uh, Canada, Saudi Arabia. So maybe an earthquake hits Haiti and kills many people. Okay, this is my guess. What is your guess? Now, we will listen and find out more about these disasters. Monday, the 27th of December, 2004. Killer Wave. Yesterday, the biggest earthquake in more than 40 years occurred deep under the Indian Ocean. As a result, massive tsunamis followed, with waves of up to 30 meters high, causing serious damage and deaths. Over 10 countries suffered, but Indonesia, India and Sri Lanka suffered the most. Tens of thousands of people have lost their lives but the exact number is still unknown. Thousands are injured, thousands are missing, and hundreds of thousands are now homeless. Some people still can't believe how they survived this natural disaster. A survivor from Jakarta, Indonesia said, A science teacher who was here on holiday warned us that a tsunami was coming. Thanks to him, by the time the wave arrived, we had evacuated the beach and had moved to higher ground. Unfortunately, others weren't as lucky. Wednesday, 13th January, 2010. Massive quake hits Haiti. Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince, is in urgent need of help after yesterday's earthquake, which completely destroyed the city. The 7.0 magnitude earthquake hit near the capital at 1653 local time, and it is the worst in 200 years. Nearly all the buildings have collapsed, and there are thousands of trapped residents and tourists under the rubble. By nightfall, survivors had rescued many people, but they had also found many lifeless bodies. Today, rescue teams from all over the world are arriving and will try to save as many people as they can. The problem is not only the trapped people, said a local official. There are thousands of injured who are dying because there aren't enough doctors or medical supplies. Okay, Monday, the 27th of December, 2004, killer wave, yesterday, the biggest earthquake, you know this word from the vocabulary video, earthquake is when the ground is shaking, and that shaking can cause destruction to buildings. The biggest earthquake in more than 40 years occurred deep under the Indian Ocean. Occurred means happened deep under the Indian Ocean. What's an ocean? In the world that we live in, there are five oceans, like the Indian Ocean, 
the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, all these are oceans. As a result, because of that, massive tsunamis followed. Massive means huge tsunamis followed with waves of up to 30 meters high. 30 meters was the height of these waves. Can you believe a wave that is 30 meters high? Some buildings, big buildings, aren't that tall, causing serious damage and deaths. Over 10 countries suffered. suffered. These countries were in pain because of these tsunamis. But Indonesia, India, and Sri Lanka suffered the most. These are the countries with most deaths and damages. Tens of thousands of people have lost their lives. Tens of thousands died. But the exact number is still unknown. How many people died exactly? Nobody knows. Thousands are injured. They were hurt. Thousands are missing. They are lost. They cannot be found and hundreds of thousands are now homeless. They have no home. Some people still can't believe how they survived. They cannot believe that they are still alive. They didn't die this natural disaster. Disaster is like a tsunami, an earthquake, a volcano. All these are called natural disasters. A survivor from Jakarta, Indonesia, said a science teacher who was here on holiday warned them when you warn somebody you tell him that danger is coming and you need to avoid it you need to move away from this danger a science teacher was on holiday in jakarta indonesia and he warned the people that a tsunami was coming thanks to him by the time the wave arrived the wave arrived the, the wave came we had evacuated the beach and had moved to higher grounds, like mountains, higher ground. Unfortunately, the bad thing is that others were not as lucky. Wednesday, the 13th of January, 2010. Massive quake hits Haiti. Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince, Port-au-Prince is the name of the capital of Haiti. Port-au-Prince is like Riyadh. Riyadh is the capital of Saudi Arabia. Haiti is like the name of the country. Port-au-Prince is the name of the capital. Is in urgent need. Urgent need means in desperate need. It needs help very quickly. After yesterday's earthquake, which completely destroyed the city. A whole city was destroyed. The seven magnitude earthquake hit near the capital. Seven magnitude tells you how bad the earthquake was. Like for example, when I ask you how tall is the building, and you tell me that it is 10 meter tall, so how, how bad was the earthquake? The, earth, the earthquake was seven magnitude hit near the capital at 16.53 local time and it is the worst in 200 years nearly all the buildings have collapsed almost all the buildings have collapsed have fallen down and there are thousands of trapped residents residents and tourists tourists are people who go to visit a country Residents are actually the people who live in that country. Residents and tourists were trapped under the rubble. By nightfall, when the night came, survivors had rescued many people, but they had also found many lifeless bodies. Lifeless bodies means dead bodies. Today, rescue teams from all over the world are arriving, are coming, and will try to save as many people as they can. The problem is not only the trapped people, said a local official 
local official is someone who is in charge, who has authority. There are thousands of injured who are dying because there aren't enough doctors or medical supplies. What are medical supplies? Medical supplies are everything that doctors use to help the patients and the injured. Now, we finished the reading. Now we answer the following questions. Read the news articles again and answer the questions. When did the earthquake under the Indian Ocean occur? What day? What year? If you look at the, the title, it says Monday, 27th of December, 2004. And if you, if you read the article, the article says yesterday. So it, it actually happened on Sunday, the 26th of December. On Sunday, the 26th of December, 2004. What caused the tsunamis? What was the reason for these tsunamis? There was an earthquake deep in the Indian Ocean. Which countries suffered the most in the 2004 disaster? Over 10 countries suffered from those tsunamis, but which countries suffered the most, more than the other countries? Indonesia, India, and Sri Lanka. How did some people in Jakarta manage to get away from the tsunami? How were they able to do that? There was a science teacher on a holiday in Jakarta and he warned the people, he told them that a tsunami is coming, you need to move to higher grounds. Where did the earthquake in Haiti hit? Haiti is the country. It happened near the capital, in Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince, that is the name of the city. What did some of the survivors do, people who did not die in the earthquake? What did some of them do? They started rescuing other people. They started helping other people. They rescued people, they saved people, they helped people. What problem does the local official want to point out? He wanted to point out that there isn't enough hospitals, there isn't enough doctors, there isn't enough medical supplies to save the injured. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. Goodbye.